Welcome back guys. So we're on step 11 of the iPod uh, battery uh, illustration and uh, last thing we did is we go, went ahead and created the ellipses on the inside of these circles here. You can see that we have uh, one up here and one up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on and adjusting that. We've already kind of got this one set. We have a little bit more adjustment to do to it. But first we're going to focus on this guy over here and we're going to start working towards that guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to um, adopt some of this green in here so that it looks like it's more of a um, behind the object than anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our gradient, enter our gradient editor, and we're going to select our colors. We're going to get our black here. We're going to go and say, I need green. We'll let that guy be nice and dark green. Maybe even let that go up there. All right, let's take a look at this and see where our positioning is, see if we can get this guy to show up at all. And for some reason, we're not getting any color to read. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and let's say, OK, let's set this to normal. We had changed that before. Bring this up. Let's go ahead and modify this now, see where we are. So let's go ahead and let's go into the gradient and see if we can there we are. There's our color. That's what we want to see. Okay. Now we have that guy set there. Let's go ahead and let's apply that just to take a look at it and see where we are and what we need to do. Okay. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to make this into two layers. We're actually going to duplicate this guy. This guy in front, we're going to take down in size. We're going to zoom in and um, <clears throat> bring it down to fit on this side. So we're going to go in here. We're going to press Command T bring down the horizontal, I mean the vertical, nudge that guy down into place, and bring this guy up to here. We'll apply that, bring this over, and that's, that's where we're going to be with that. Okay, now this guy, let's go ahead and bring this guy up above. Okay, we'll bring this guy down to an overlay. Alright, this guy we're bringing back to the uh, gray and black. So we'll take this back to black. Set that to OK. That to OK. There we go. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to start to work toward getting our um, our shape in here looking a little bit better so it looks like the fuel is in a cylinder as well back there. So we're going to um, come back to this, turn the overlay off. Okay. We're going to turn the um, the gradient to a different color. We're going to take this guy and edit this. We're going to take this and set this to not such a strong color, but just a nice little green in there. Okay, there we are. We'll have that set. We'll say OK, and that OK, and this OK as well. Let's go ahead and let's turn off our outer glow. It's kind of, we don't need that necessarily. So we're going to go into the effects of this guy as well, and we're going to maybe try an inner shadow. Let's see how this looks. There's our opacity. Let's go ahead and do a color, our linear color burn. See how that looks. Mm. Not so fond of that one. Okay. Moving forward from here, let's go ahead and let's change this inner burn, inner shadow to a um, dark green. Let's try and get some colors in there. Let's go ahead and bring that down to like 30 and see how that's going to work for us. Okay. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and let's position this behind the other guy, um, behind the fuel cell. So I did a shortcut command by pressing command left bracket to move it behind. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of nudge that over just a touch. All right. Deselecting our path by clicking on it. We're going to see what we got. I don't like this color so much. We've got to work on that. So we're going to go ahead and try and adjust our colors just a little bit. Just trying to reverse them. Okay. All right, that's as good as I think as we're going to get for a while now. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll just let that be that way. Okay. All right. Now that we have those colors set, we're getting ready to rock and roll. All right. And then um, we'll go ahead and cut this video short here. We'll go ahead and we'll start. Um, creating the uh, reflection in the next video. All right. Thanks, guys.